Was there any debate within the early church that the teachings of Jesus and the teachings of Paul contradicted each other? In other words, were there any red letter only Christians back then? Well, that's an interesting question uh, on all, all sorts of levels. Uh, there, there was a very famous German scholar by the name of F.C. Bauer who argued that uh, Christianity as we know it was actually not really the product of the teachings of Jesus, but really was the product of the Apostle Paul. Uh, so the real founder of Christianity, according to Bauer, was Paul and not Jesus. And so Bauer sort of retrospectively looks back at early Christianity and argues that Paul and, 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 and Jesus would not have gotten along, right? That Paul took Jesus' pure religion and sort of, you know, uh, Hellenized it and made it about, you know, sacrifice for sins and these sorts of things. Uh, Bauer's view has been widely refuted since, but he was one of the first ones that argued for a Jesus versus Paul narrative. It's not really that popular now, though, in modern scholarship. The, the more modern narrative now isn't Jesus versus Paul, uh, but actually Peter versus Paul. Um, and so now there's a narrative that there was different factions within the apostles themselves, and they particularly appealed to Galatians 2 when Peter and Paul were, 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 were disagreeing and, and fighting with one another. And so that's where most of modern scholarship lies. So the F.C. F. Bauer theory has typically been uh, debunked. Yeah, that was, of course, this is the theory that the uh, Galatian Judaizers were holding. That, uh, that, that they believed in Jesus, but not Paul, when they were challenging his apostolic authority. And, uh, and uh, I just preached on that last Sunday on the Ephesians 2, on Galatians 2, on that confrontation of face-to-face -face with uh, Cephas. But, 